In this corner, weighing in at 7.5 tons, standing more than 15 feet tall and 40 feet long, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And in this corner... Wait, there's only one corner? Uh, yeah, How bro, could you this said be? only make one What an corner. oversight. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Creature Spotlight, a series where we go over the many aspects of the creature in the spotlight. Today, we have the Rex, a creature that many players gawk over, and rightly so. The Rex is a useful dino to have in your dino army for various reasons that we'll get to in a few minutes. So if you want to grow your skills and all sorts of other arc related stuff, subscribe now so you don't miss anything. First things first, let's talk about taming. The Rex's favorite food is exceptional kibble, and if you're taming a level 150 on official settings, you'll only have to use 17. I understand a lot of you won't have kibble yet, so you'll need 35 mutton and about an hour of time to get yourself a level 150 Rex. I recommend bringing along with you a long neck rifle, as well as about 70 trank darts. If you want to use a crossbow, feel free, just make sure you bring about 98 trank arrows. The Rex has a high torpor drain of about 2.5 torpor per second, but since it takes so much to knock out, you won't need any additional narcotics for the taming process. Great, so we've got our hot bar and inventory straightened out. Next up, you're going to want to use a trap, and for that, I recommend using this pitfall style trap. There are certainly many trap designs you could use for a Rex, but today I've come up with an ugly but cheap design that consists of two foundations, four door frames, four ramps, and 14 pillars. I used the two pillars on the back of the trap to make sure the Rex actually fell into the trap, and you might want to think about bringing an extra pillar or two to get the snap points you're looking for. I was also able to get away with making the door frames only too high, but if you get a particularly cheeky Rex, it might sometimes squirm its way out. If that's happening to you, definitely make the walls three high. This trap design only allows you to bring the Rex in on one side, but it can be modified to have ramps anywhere else you need them. Just use door frames instead of pillars to add ramps to whatever side you need. Lead the Rex straight in and it'll fall into your trap where you can begin the taming process. The Rex saddle unlocks at level 74 and should end up being one of your more frequently used tam- Oh, I see your trap terrifier. And you don't need any of this. I'm gonna show you the boss ass way to make sure you tame yourself a Rex. Oh yeah. Hello, so I'm Dave. I'm hijacking this channel currently because I found just the most beautiful way of taming a T-Rex. I kind of like to do my thing a little bit differently to most. I don't necessarily like to find the fastest or maybe even the best way of taming stuff. I just like to find the coolest way of doing it. That's what I'm about. So, all you need for this is no building materials whatsoever. We blew all that crap up. The only thing that you guys are going to need for this one is a flyer, a grapple hook, a crossbow, and some method of knocking it out. And I guess um, some taming stuff. You don't even need any armor. This is Bucket, the extremely sassy Bucket, who always wants to eat me. Yeah, she's a staple on my channel. Anyway, this is all you need. So your trank of choice, some grappling hooks, some kibble, or whatever you do want to use to tame it. And of course, you need the flyer, as I mentioned before. Don't forget, obviously, some water and some food and, and things like that. The first thing you're going to want to do is set your flyer to passive and load your grapple hook into your crossbow. Find yourself a nice T-Rex. Oh, here's a nice T-Rex. Hopefully, it's a good level. It's level 69, I spawned it in for the example of this video. Let's go and see what can we do. Well, the first thing you want to do is fly up high, jump off and grapple onto your own flyer. Lower yourself down like a big bit of bait on a fishing rod and uh, this will keep the animal targeted to you. It's one thing you, you do want to do. Make sure you fly up high enough so that, uh, so that your bird stays in the air because if the bird lands, or your flyer lands, then you die. And uh, maybe don't miss with the grappling hook either, because uh, you die then too. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. So, as a backup, make sure that you've got yourself a nice little mini base with a spawn nearby. Or, alternatively, just a couple of beds and a tame, so that if you do die for whatever reason, you can get yourself straight back into the action. In my case, I have a nice little small tame, very fast, uh, to get me back to the uh, the correct area here. 
Yes. Grab all of your stuff from your corpse if you do die. And fly maybe just a little bit higher next time. You also look exceptionally badass while doing this. I would recommend the Doom soundtrack so you feel like an absolute unit. If the dino decides to run away... Why are you running? Why are you running? Then you can just pull yourself back up straight onto your flyer and follow it. Once you get yourself in the perfect place, all you have to do is keep shooting and shooting until eventually we have a fleeing dino. In my case, I was an absolute idiot and did this near water, so you'll guess where the T-Rex went. Yeah, because you can just hop off of your flyer if you want to and follow it around. It's brilliant. If you have a tapuara, you can actually flip to the back seat and shoot it while on the back of the tapuara, which means you're kind of a little bit safer than just running around the whole of Ark in your skivvies. Then great news! You can go and do whatever it is that you want to do until it wakes up. In my case, I went to go and retrieve my flyer. Shove some kibble into the dino, or meat of your choosing, obviously. You can build a protective base around it if you want to, or you can just leave it where it is and look like a badass while you do it. Me being me, I obviously chose for the badass in this example. Name your ex something very meaningful to you, and then have some fun. So I think now it's probably good that we teach Terrifier how to do this. And it gets even better with two players. Oh, yes. All right, Terrifier. It's time. Ah. It, it's time. It's time. I know you're very... You're used to a script. You're used to making everything all good. But now nah, this is this is action, my friend. This is... Action. This, this, is, this is how you do... You're not going to need anything for this, okay? You don't need armor. All you need, all right, is a grappling hook and some quick wits. So uh, do you know what island that is over there? You know what island that is? That's definitely an island. Yeah, that's that's an island. But that's that's the island where all the herbivores go, right? Yeah? That's right. only herbivores spawn on that island. Yeah? So they say. So they say. Alright, cool. Well, uh, why don't we uh, go over there? And uh, you grapple onto Bucket and uh, we can we can we can show you how to tame a Rex with absolutely no traps, no armor, just just some quick wits. And some hilarious. You actually look hilarious right now. <laughs> I feel hilarious. Oh uh, well. Uh, welcome, welcome to, to welcome to Rex Island. Oh, they lied. They were wrong. Yeah, <laughs> they do move in herds. How nervous are you? Uh, right not nervous at all. Oh, oh I died. <laughs> uh, Famous oh. last words. One eternity later. All right. I think this one will do. I need a few inches of height. There sure? we go. Beautiful. There we We're go. So See, close. look at this. So yeah, the moment, the moment that he starts fleeing, I'll you, you can drop off. I'll go and take care of the rest of the Rexes on the island, and you just follow him and keep pumping him full of tranks. All right, bet. I'm actually amazed at how many harpoons this Rex is taking. I know, right? He's not even trying to run yet. In here spawned the giant fish thing. Oh, hello. Is he running? I think so. Oh man, you uh, okay? You just dropped. You just dropped away. Oh yeah, balls <laughs> to the wall. <laughs> hello, Alpha. All right, I've killed an Alpha with bucket before. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. It should be fine. Yeah, Everything's fine. Get on land. No, oh, don't go in the water. Water bad, Mr. Rex. Oh, he mad. You with me? Uh, where are you? No, I'm not. I'm trying to get rid of the alpha. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Just keep running. I got okay, this. I'm gonna keep running. I got this. I got you. Ah, the alpha. The alpha ain't there, is it? Oh man, no, I can't it's... stop the alpha. Where's oh. the alpha? Where's the alpha? Now, I think yours had a red back, did it not? I do not remember. I think so. You were looking at it for like a good, a good while. <laughs> you would think I would remember stuff like that, right? <laughs> Is that it? Entirely possible. You're not filling me here with confidence here, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very full of confidence. Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is the one you want. This is this totally is the, the guy. This is the guy right here. Get him. Yes! 
All right, how many shocking trank darts is it going to take for this guy? Let's find out. Well, he's already got torpor because it's the same one. There we go. Oh, he he's running. Into, into the water he goes. In, into the water. <laughs> do you want to just keep? Sh do you want to? Sh oh, that's not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we remember. Remember, viewers. Easier than a trap. <laughs> just, just shoot this one. This one, this one will go down. Look, he's trapped. He's, he's not trapped in a trap, but he is trapped. Captain Clutch. Oh, he's go. down. He's down. Yay! Oh, I nice. found the kibble. I found the kibble. You left it in this oh, one. Oh, sweet. There you go. Have some kibble. You left it in that one. You literally nice. just left all of your stuff over here. Nice. I didn't even know it was there. Forget about all this prime meat. What a night to tame a Rex. Yeah. Although at the moment it just looks like he ran headlong into a brick, wall, uh, a stone wall. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I, I guess that explains why he's unconscious, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh bugger! That's not good. Uh, hello you can there. Do it, bucket. Good job, Bucket. You're doing great. <laughs> Bucket is is just. <laughs> Look at the army. Do you see the army migrating right now? Holy oh my God! Jesus, what are wow. they up to? Wow. Hello there. Hey! Yeah. Sweetness. Uh, what do I name him? Um, uh, um, some something cool. Uh, sunglasses guy. There sunglasses, we go. Sunglasses guy. Yeah, because sungla guys with sunglasses are super cool, right? <laughs> uh. Ah, no. Don't want to play. <laughs> you don't want to play this game. Where are you? All right. Oh, you got me. Oh no. Oh, this is it, boys. <laughs> it was fun taming this Rex with you. <laughs> right then. As you shot Bucket with a trank, and unfortunately, if some of my subscribers come over to watch this, I they won't let that go. So they, they need to have revenge immediately. So, um, Goodbye, so everybody. Un un unfortunately for you, my friend, it it's a long way down, but a necessary way down. As I'm falling, I'd like to thank my mom for being <laughs> my mom. Uh, I would like to thank Water for being delicious. Um, and, you know, Death for being... So, Dave, what's your favorite thing about the Rex? It's got to be, oh, come on, the fact that it roars and it makes the, the other dinos poop. I know it's kind of useless, but <laughs> like, I who love wouldn't it love that? <laughs> uh, so, when you tame a Rex, what do you use it for? Uh, I pro Boss battles, mostly. Like, it's a very good boss boss fighting machine and defense as well. I mean, it would be very, it's probably the best all-rounder in PvP, I'm guessing. Uh, okay, last question. How many Rexes would it take to kill Bucket, do you think? Oh. With her healing ability? Probably at the same time, if she wasn't moving, about a hundred. About a hundred? Oh, shit. If she wasn't moving, yeah. If she's yeah, moving, then she w if she was moving, then no none. Like, it, it would be impossible. Very nice. It's been a lot of fun, Dave. I appreciate you teaching me this new taming method. I hope my community finds it just as fun and useful as I did. Don't forget, it would actually work a lot better if there weren't a hundred Rexes on the island at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, it is a little bit more convenient than using a trap. And, and the only reason for that, I think, personally, is because you don't have any leftovers. You don't have anything left behind. It's just you, your dino and what you're trying to tame. I think it's a really useful way to get things done, in my opinion. Make sure to go check out Bitmore Dave by clicking his link in the description. And if this video gets 1500 likes, we'll bring him back to the channel once again. Thanks so much for your time today. We'll see you in the next video.